Doctors are putting all the latest beauty products and procedures to the test. Even the breast lift that requires no cutting or downtime. See the real results as the doctors put them all to the test. That's today. And we put the no surgery breast lift to the test. Now, the before and after results we weren't expecting. That's coming up. Coming up, we put the no surgery breast lift to the test. Now, the before and after results we weren't expecting. A breast lift without a scalpel or any downtime? Is it too good to be true? We followed one woman's journey when she had this new procedure. Let's have a look. Three years ago, I had my daughter with pregnancy and breastfeeding, it takes a toll on your body and more of a toll on my breast. I've always been in shape. For me, my breasts have always been full and perky, and once I had her, they're sagging a little bit. I had tried the firming creams, certain workouts for your upper arms and your breasts, and nothing seems to work. And I'm always self-conscious now, especially with my breasts, it's like a big thing. Dr. DiBernardo told me one option that I had was Thermi Brat. For years, we've had only one option where we do a surgery, and then scars, but fortunately, Today, we've been working on a new procedure with a technology called Thermi. This is a little probe that uses radio frequency energy, and we get the skin to a certain temperature that will then tighten it. No scarring, one-time procedure, no pain. I mean, who wouldn't want that? Like, maybe I wouldn't even want implants. Maybe this will do the job where it will tighten my skin and make my boobs perky. So I'm going to make just four tiny little incisions. So we have the Thermi probe in under her skin, and we're bringing the temperature up. That's going to start turning white. That's the temperature going up. I can't wait to see the results. Dr. Barry DiBernardo is here along with his patient, Samantha. Thank you both for being here. Now, really quickly, I want to show everyone a look at your before and after picture and while we're looking at that most importantly i just want to ask you samantha are you happy with the results a hundred percent i'm happy i mean after having this procedure the next day i was up and running doing exactly what i needed to do again i have a three and a half year old daughter so for me having this quick procedure but also it not being a surgical procedure i was able to do the mom things i need to do and run around and and do everything i needed to do so i feel great i would definitely recommend this to everyone a closer look at the results just to make sure you all out there are looking at the right thing. So once again, Samantha, her before picture and her after picture. What I want to highlight is what Dr. DiBernardo is doing in comparing his results. A couple key measurements. He measures from this point down to the nipple and then the distance from the nipple down to the crease. That's how we plastic surgeons determine how much lift has, has taken place. Well, in the after picture, clearly you can see there's more fullness up in here, that this distance has been lifted and reduced at this point, and the distance from the notch here is less, the breasts have been lifted. In fact, it looks like the, the volume has shifted from down below to up top. So in a lot of ways, it looks like an augmentation result. So tell us more about it, Barry. Barry and I go way back. I've known this guy 25 years. Exactly. Well, Drew, what's happening is there, there are vertical fibers under the skin. By heating those, it's shortening them. Then we're stimulating at a certain temperature the cells called fibroblasts, which make collagen and elastin. It makes your skin more plump and more tight. And we're doing that 360 degrees around the breast. So it's not only lifting it, it's tightening and rounding the whole breast. So we're making it younger skin, whereas in surgery, even if we do a surgical procedure with scars, it's still old skin. When you do this, how long are you expecting the results to last? We've done this procedure for the last several years in other parts of the body, and we're getting years out of that, so this should not be any different. We should get years so, from a single treatment. So what you're saying with this technique, the results slowly get better over time as, as things contract even more. I mean, we can't stop gravity, so gravity still will be playing a role on whatever part of the body you're treating, but uh, 
And real quickly before, before we go to break, I'm curious, cost-wise, traditional breast lift versus this type of procedure? Uh, this should be less because we don't need a large operating room. We don't need the anesthesiologist. Uh, so it's going to be less, usually in the four to $5,000 range, and it's a single treatment. How much does a breast lift cost? Well, a formal breast lift where, where you have a full T uh -huh. incision is going to be $10,000 upwards. Seven it's to $12,000. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's a big operation. Well, so, you certainly have one very happy patient sitting to your left. And <laughs> we appreciate both of you joining us. Thanks so much for sharing. A lot more to come.